888 Shape 05 Street Sweeper Radio, DJ K Slade, Drama King is in the building. Got another special guest just walked in the building. <laughs> She's no stranger to the room. Not at all. Iconic Thank to the hip hop game. You understand what I'm saying? Thank you. By the yeah. way, we're the top live right now. Yeah. Reality TV and everything. One of the uh, first women to set their feet in it and still be here. Absolutely. Yeah. A lot of motherfuckers fell off the planet. <laughs> She's still getting to the bag. We got delicious in the building right now. Woo! Just got really delicious in the in the room. Delicious. What's up? What's up? Hey. What's going on? New York City. I get so excited when I come here. And I, I get to come and hang out with my people. Yeah. I see you got some more uh, deliciousness in the room. I know yeah. we got a chance to meet her. But, She's cool. Um, oh, you, you, she all right. You know what? You, like, <laughs> yo, I can't even imagine you walking down the streets of New York City because they're beyond crazy down there. Like, <laughs> they've got to just be like, all this beautifulness. You know what? It's a good time. I receive it well. It, it helps me to, um, to feel good. Mm-hmm. Your girl is 40 years old. And what? so, um, shout yeah. out to 40 is like, wait, first of all, okay, so all my friends, I'm, I'll be 33 in a month. You let her right? talk, please. I know, Nobody I know. Wants to know I, how this old sex you thing, are. I'm trying to get into it. So, okay. my friends, like when they were entering like 36, 37, 38, mm-hmm. they wanted to like hump fire hydrants. They were so horny, like, right? Walking oh, so down you're the asking street. me is when I turned 40, did I like did have the more hormones sex? ramp up? I think by the time I turned 40, because there was a lack thereof, okay, I probably was there already. This is like going through batteries, <laughs> going like through. just like yeah, like I um like Casey Lee said, I have been blessed to stay busy. Yeah, and so with being busy, being a single mom, mm-hmm. um, and just trying to keep myself, you know, not just relevant but above water because the world is crazy. Not Absolutely. to mention being a part of the industry, um, relationships and sex. Some of the sexiest women that you see. Whether it's on Instagram or social media, don't get are none. probably some of the sexless women that you absolutely. Seen. I get, I got options though. Good point. <laughs> Good point. And, and you know what it is? Like when you reach a certain age, mm-hmm. a nigga be fucked out. Like I would never <laughs> try to say my resume. Fuck that. I'm an old head. You could imagine, but okay. it gets to a certain point where it's like. All right, when it's time for that, it's time. But I'm getting to this money. Exactly. Right. Now, I, right. I will fucking roll around in my fucking bed with money and feel better than get because I this. All right, certain dudes, it's like maybe females. It's like yeah. it's not going to be that much different of the feeling. Right. Mm-hmm. So you got to really be attached to the person to like them. You understand what I'm saying? For it to mean something other yeah. than that, it's like boom, bang, crash, boom, bang, yeah. crash, boom, lick, suck. Well, I'm talking about a lot. Like, you understand what I'm saying? I love you for saying, especially you being a guy, but meaningless sex don't get me wet. Right. And so I don't want dry sex. So you feel what I'm saying? So Mm -hmm. unless you really like the person, then it's just like boom, bang, crash. It's biologically horny, like when you enter your 40s. That's what I'm talking about. I go to my trick bag. As long as my kids are gone for the weekend, or, you know what I'm saying? I feel a little weird doing it in the hotel because JD and I, uh, my manager, we're always on the road. (laughs) It's hard to remember one time. He didn't know it, of course. He's not in my room. But I took my vibrator with me on the road and so you know after i did my little party or whatever go back to <laughs> my room and it was a weird thing trying to get myself in the mood to turn myself up. on right? so i was just like yo like you are straight whack when you are <laughs> whacking off for lack of a better phrase in your hotel room <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, you get it in when you get it in. But like he said, you got to have some type of connection, which is why sometimes you keep those friends with benefits because, I mean, you mm-hmm. both know what it is, mm-hmm. you know, and it's like you we hook up when we see each other and we don't necessarily have to call this a commitment because it's not that. Just, Just yo, tune you know me what? up. I Just love give me that, a tune up. That shit yeah. right there, hit me with some motherfucking applause. It's like, you <laughs> know why? Up. Because those are the motherfucking situations where you both know what it is. Yeah. You already know to assume the position. Yeah. A nigga already know to get down to throw your leg. Whatever it is, y'all know it's none of this trying to yeah. figure each other out and all that. No. Exactly. Boom, we already been rocking. This is what it is after that. Um, boom, I ain't see you. You ain't see me. We ain't posting each other. Yeah. Uh, right. Watches next to each other. No, no way. Shit Shoot is like together, goodbye. Outfit, it's right. goodbye. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? Because whenever that I try right. to take that route, boom, crash. Burned. It don't work. Right. Nah. Same so. here. Yeah, I'm on my grown 40. Yeah, when I see you. All right, cool. I'm on That's a 32-year-old. There's an application at www. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you just like dirty niggas. 
<laughs> I don't. Why do That's you keep saying is. this? Yo, you, do you know these people really think that I just like the word? You do. Like, <laughs> the, you do. The, 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 the sticky shit in the bottom barrel. <laughs> Street sweeper radio. You my dog, but I'm just saying like you. T- <laughs> they want to see who you're talking about, Slay. I know. Hi. Uh-huh. I'm just- no, she's very cute. Very uh, motivated. Yeah, very professional, cute. everything. But her private he love don't life know is what fucked I like. up. <laughs> very fucked up. She comes I around can- me. And I could, you know, you a, a, a man who's been around for a while knows when the women ain't getting smashed right. Ooh. And you're not. How can you tell? Hmm? Attitude. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I got an attitude? Personality. I'm always smiling. Personality, but that's a fake smile. Oh! You oh, understand what I'm saying? Oh. See, some people can oh, see through that. Oh, it's a fake smile. Real. You understand what I'm saying? And yeah. it's, it's just the way you move. No, like, he's I right. Because you know sometimes people be like, yo, D, you got a glow. I will be like, oh, dang, yeah. you know? That good dick glow, I need that. I, I ooh. Ooh. See how she said she need it? Yeah. What I said, she got you a fucked she's up. Lacking exactly. It, right. There you go. And so I'm gonna fight. What are you, APB my like vagina on the no, air? <laughs> you're around me enough for me to pick up on them vibes. You know what I'm saying? And I feel right. bad for you. All right. You I said there's an application. Right. Www. You know <laughs> Put it out there. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta be right because if you fucked up, I'm gonna beat that ass. Cause just the homie. I know that. Yeah. Right. Ain't none of that bullshit going on. That's you know what right. I'm saying? No mistreating or none of yeah, that. Yeah, I need you to put that same thing out there for me. Like, don't mistreat me. Or if you, you ain't ready to, to fuck up, with Delicious, I'm the, the right way and keep it 100. <laughs> you understand? Yes. You got problems in New York. That's right. Ooh, I like. What is it? Word takes up. to court you. Ooh, first of all, don't be intimidated by anything you think you know about me. Right. Because I like a man with confidence. Mm. I like a man who's confident enough. Now, don't be raggedy when you approach me. But if you're confident within yourself and you say, you know what, let me take you out. The last person I went out with, that's exactly how that happened. See? And so, and we had a good time. Men don't think that yeah. it's so, they don't really approach you like that, right? Yeah, no, approach me. Like, I'm a slider. I tell people all the time, I do the DM thing. Huh? Now, I'm just not, you know totally ratchet but I see someone that I like um, my latest slide was Shannon Sharp I'm still waiting but yeah Ooh. I mean I slide she went for the bag that's slide that's an ancient snack Word up. well you know what I don't I don't know I, me myself and young guys Oh, I can't do it either. I, I have a 19-year-old daughter who's at Spelman College. Right. Oh, so, shout uh, out to uh, a hand clap. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, a lot of little stuff that, and I'm not accusing young men of being immature or whatever, but it's not because you're messed up. You know, experience is a good teacher. Mm-hmm. So, some things that they may do, I'm like, I can see through that and I'm not going to be able to fake it. You're just not there anymore. You're like no, somewhere not, else. Yeah, I'm not there anymore. Ashley's still experimenting with young guys. With young guys? Cougar. You like young guys? Cougar. She's a cougar. What's the I, youngest age? As a matter of fact, he being funny, but the youngest I've ever dated is like 30. I'm 32. Oh. I like Ashley. He knows who I've dated, oh. who sits See, here. She's better like, than me. I got low. I got, about that, what about I got that, like, to the 20s. What about niggas. that photographer? <laughs> I never dated him. Matter of fact, he texted me this weekend, and I knew it was only because of you, because he's never hit my phone. I know it's because of you. Did you send some music? He's never texted my (laughs) phone. We getting off of that. Listen, that nigga. Hey, y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. They know what different out here. Yo. (laughs) We got the listeners up here. JD, what up, man? JD in the building. You understand what I'm saying? Detroit's finest. You know what I'm saying? When I say finest, I mean that's a, a male term for a nigga yeah. doing the thing. Nah, yeah. No other shit. You got to yeah. be real specific <laughs> with cameras is rolling Nowadays, and shit really going don't. on. Yeah. Like that. You got to say it like that. Real yeah. talk. You know, so, the Yo. list is. Yes. What's up with the music? Um. Okay, the same thing like with dating. It took some time for me to develop my... Um, my confidence like my girl prima donna you mm-hmm. guys know prima donna of course she's like the waist queen and uh-huh. now she actually has music and stuff going on she posted something earlier today that said you know what can i say the f word absolutely yeah, cool. fuck pick. being humble yes you know what i'm saying at, at some point you know be comfortable and just she said shit on him but that yes. was a tweet that she posted so without those exact words i get what she's saying i had to get to a certain point where i was comfortable with myself whether that meant doing my music being a mother who could be at home and take care of my kids and still go out and host parties and be sexy you know you in this industry it's a different world now social media will take your confidence either here or here Mm -hmm. you know i'm saying it made some people big stars who you probably don't believe deserve it and then it takes some people who are great stars or great talents and make them feel like this because Mm -hmm. they haven't gotten you know i'm saying that that uh, participation from people popularity over talent yeah so one thing that 40 does do you get to 40 you be like ah fuck that i'm ready i know who my audience is and for those who are not my audience i'm okay with that 
If I'm lucky, I'll gain you. If not, I'll just entertain the people who keep saying, right D, along. where your music? You was on Flavor Love and you was singing like crazy. Why is it that we got to wait? You waiting to win them. You already won us. Get your money. What's right. up? Give us some music. So, look, we got you here. We got the joint. Hold on for a second. Okay. You got to here for a second. Yeah, I know. Exactly. Introduce this joint right here. It's your girl, Miss Delicious, and this is FNL. In other words, fall in love. Hey, today, Shade 45, Street Sweeper Radio, DJ K, Slate, Drama King of the Building, Ashley Van the Building. We got Delicious in the building. That's okay. the first time I heard that clean. Word? <laughs> yes. But, so this, I'm but up you could have played it dirty up here. I, I, you know what? We just wanted to be right, I guess so. But no, mm-hmm. I've, and my followers are on here. First of all, thank you, because it's the first time that's played on radio. Cool. Hey. Yeah, so that was about here. The premiere was right here with my man, K Slay. World premiere. Um, but yeah, my followers is like, uh, where's the fucks? Where are the fucks? <laughs> oh, man. See, damn. I like a good fuck. We might, have, like to the, we might have to get We might have to get the dirty in before you leave, because, you Absolutely. know, people want to hear the, the, you know. People like a good fuck. Yeah. Like, <laughs> exactly. Especially when you can get one in. And hey. here we can. You're right. See? Oh, I so, like what you did there. <laughs> so, so now, peep game. Yeah. I remember back. Was it around 2008 when you was uh, doing the music? Was it then? 2007. It was directly after the show. Exactly. You Mm -hmm. was venturing into the music and then you kind of fell back. I I don't know. Was Kid Capri? Yeah, he was. Him and Trina were on that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I I remember that. See, you ain't remember that. (laughs) I did. Anyway. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Women empowerment. You don't know shit. Oh. But, um. (laughs) What made you stray away from that and um, like at the time? Because, you know, that if you would have flowed then to now, you know what I'm saying, things could have been, you know. You know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I did not see myself as sexy like that until I got on the Flavor of Love. So we go on the show, and what happens is a lot of the footage on back when we were doing reality TV ended up on the cutting room floor. So when they edited it, it took like maybe four months before you finally saw the project come on TV, unlike now when you see reality shows. So they created the image that they wanted to present. And not that mine was far off, but we were so sexy. And I guess that's the playoff of, okay, you got Flavor Flav, who people may call unattractive. And then you have these highly sexified women that are trying to get to him. Oh, I like that background. (laughs) That's FNL. You said sexy. It like crept in there, right? Yeah. So what happened is once they started to steer and guide the direction, we were on the cover of Smooth. We were on the cover of Black Men. We were on the cover of um, you name it. If it was a sexy magazine, we were on the cover of it. it. And prior to The Flavor of Love, I was an insurance agent. So... As they led me, a producer came to me and he had the music for Rump Shaker. And so we, I flew out to Philly and we started you know, putting it together and I started writing on it. And they kind of steered even the direction that I was writing. And so what I was singing right then was totally opposite. I sang a gospel song on The Flavor of Love. Mm-hmm. So mm. singing Rump Shaker, I don't regret it, but that wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to do some serious music back then. But I was just following the image that had been portrayed, portrayed for me. and what was going on at the time to fit in. Exactly, to, all right, it was what you was riding away. Yeah, okay. even backwards in a, a, a G string on the cover of a magazine, that wasn't exactly what I wanted to do. But you know, everybody was like, "Oh, you know, delicious, the girl with the fat ass," and right. you know, she's so sexy. And it's right. like nobody said she had a degree. Nobody really, you know, concentrated that I had a daughter. They knew I was a mom, but the concentration at that time was you didn't see women with those waists, with those hips and big asses on television unless it was J-Lo at that time. Mm -hmm. And so once we were able to, you know, get in like that, that's just what we were to the Mm -hmm. world. And so everything that I tried to touch that I knew I wanted to do prior to the show was kind of guided. Show that ass. Yeah, Even exactly. in your music, so that, you know do saying? the rum shaker. And then you was doing the jeans thing because you had the only jeans that was fitting the fat ass girls. You know, yes, I know. You yes. understand? You was now you that was working for me. Yeah. Uh huh. But then those bookings came in. Like we started that era of hosting parties. Exactly. It was myself, Buffy the Body, and um, Melissa Ford. Like we were like on you know a world tour. That of shit was ugly. Ev- it was ugly, that and shit was so ugly. the money would come in your sleep. Like you know they would hit us up. Like, yo, D, you got to be out for 14 days. Wait, I got a seven-year-old at the crib. Yeah, each one is paying you $7,000. All right, I'm going to make sure my mom and my auntie got my Mm -hmm. baby. Mm -hmm. As long as I can come home in between. And so anything that you really wanted to do at that time, 
you either did that and hope that it made you that much money as well, because that money just... You know, I know. You know, them front ends go right into your bank account, and you go from being an insurance agent to being on top of the world financially. At least that's what you feel like. So my thing with the gene line, that was just my self-investment. That was mm. all my money. No company came and gave me upfront money. I was like, a lot of people hit me up, just like today, and they're like, yo, D, how do you have this shape but your jeans fit your waist as well as you know your body or whatever everything it fits so, everything i yeah. swear to god y'all can yeah. put my no, hand on the but body i, I like, remember back then yeah. your your line was popping so much you couldn't meet the orders i could yeah, i remember, remember that. that come on i remember and, that yo, we like, flew out to you know magic saying? i never done nothing like that before and they come up to you they got checks in hand the magic is like when you go out to vegas and everybody, all the you know, vendors, all the vendors are yeah. set up. So we have our we have our setup out here, and these people come to you. All right, we want to give you twenty percent of this. We need this much product, and I'm like, I don't have an open stock, right? Right. So you this. know, it was a good problem to have, but I didn't know no better then. And so you know, I just kind of said I'm gonna have to pull out of the gene line, you know, business because I, I'm booked. I want to ask you though, when you see people like good american come in mm -hmm. and lines like you know that's chloe kardashian's lines but right. like other lines mm -hmm. come in that kind of have that same idea yeah well, how do you feel about that well you know what I, I applaud them because there are is a need especially now everybody is you know built like that now whether it was natural or I'm unnatural <laughs> so it, but i'm just saying mm -hmm. you, you if you want it you can go get it and it's, right. it's very common so it, it makes sense if they want to make money by making sure that they can you know fulfill the need and it gives them a check i'm not mad at them it was my fault for pulling away from it so i never i'm not the type to say yo i started that that was my thing well if you didn't bank off of it but can we just be clear <laughs> you like I'm just saying can we just be clear yeah like, I did kind of I remember that it's you know nah, deep you know, cut know. jeans it's the cut that would you know change your strut and give you that butt deep cut jeans by delicious hey, hey. what you gotta understand is so say. women with big butts have a certain structure yeah, yeah I don't they understand. can get the pants yep. but up here up the out like this <laughs> yep. not clinging to them so yeah. they have to get a belt and then you got the little baggy shit yes, the out around it stuff but you had the shit that came <laughs> yes. up around and gripped the waist and now everybody you know makes saying? those jeans it's like the the go-to fashion women nova who are not, yeah yeah shout out to fashion nova and i'm wearing their jeans right now see yeah so yeah it's a thing now some t a lot of things that i've done and i see people pick up on and they either repeat it or profit from it I never get upset. It feels good to me to know that. Inspired. Yeah, I feel Inspired. good. Yeah. If, if it was something about me that you can take from, I, I feel a way that that meant that I meant something to you or you watched me and I'm never going to be like, yo, you need to give me credit on that. Nope, God give me all the credit because I'm totally blessed. That means the idea did something. Yeah. Yeah. 8 8 Shape 05, Street Sweeper Radio. You only brought one record? 